Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, a couple of broad areas um, in which you'll be expecting questions uh, while going for uh, interviews um, on data science jobs. So the first area that is very important in, in data science jobs, and this is very important for people from IT, those who want to move into data science, is to have a good uh, command over applied mathematics. Well, applied mathematics is very broad in the sense that it includes a lot of uh, uh, sub areas um, or a lot of other academic fields. So um, at a pretty broad level, uh, one should be comfortable with uh, the algebra, linear algebra. So one should be uh, able to do matrix algebra, matrix multiplications, uh, subtractions, um, the operations on matrices and, and so on. Um, the Cartesian algebra that's also important, coordinate geometry that's also important. One should also be uh, familiar with uh, optimizations like linear um, programming and so on. Okay, linear programming, non-linear programming. Um, so one should be comfortable with the basics of optimizations. Uh, stochastic mathematics, uh, especially people going into the field of, uh, you know, uh, financial, uh, financial risk, uh, or no data science jobs in financial risk or banking and um, banking jobs, they would expect you to be familiar with stochastic mathematics because a lot of their, uh, uh, you know, a lot of the financial uh, um, mathematics is very related, or, or maybe um, I would say it, it heavily uses stochastic mathematics. So. One should be familiar with that. Um, and apart from that, you know, you should be very comfortable with the fundamentals of calculus um, uh, and then, you know, differential equations, so, so on. And the most important thing is to have a very good command over probability. No matter which field of uh, data science you are going into, one should be very familiar with the concepts of probability, uh, you know, the Bayesian statistics. Um, uh, things like that. Um, basic statistics is very important. So all the data summarization uh, statistics like mean, median, mode, uh, what is a box plot, what is uh, a bar chart, histogram, differences between these different plots, how to interpret, uh, you know, different statistics, um, one should be very comfortable with. Statistical modeling. Uh, well, statistical modeling uh, involves uh, a number of uh, simple models to more complicated model, which includes uh, linear regression to Bayesian modeling to survival modeling. Okay, so one should be comfortable with as many uh, models as one you know possibly can master. You know, it's difficult to master all the modeling techniques unless, of course, you have a PhD or maybe a master's uh, in statistics. But one should have a reasonable comfortable, uh, a reasonably comfortable with. Um, at least uh, you know five to six modeling uh, modeling technique. Machine learning. Uh, this is increasingly becoming more popular, and it's important that one should be comfortable with the uh, advanced uh, adv advanced machine learning techniques, uh, which could be you know SBA, uh, could be a random forest uh, model, or or you know the newly uh, advanced uh, neural network techniques. Okay. And apart from that, decision tree and, and you know techniques that have that has come from the the more uh, you know data mining um, academic field. That that's also important, and one should be familiar um, using this technique rather than just you know uh, knowing the theory. I mean, both are important. Having uh, a clear understanding of the theory behind these techniques at the same time having uh, the experience of using them. And the last one is econometrics. Uh, this is this is a field that uses um, you know statistical modeling to uh, you know do forecasting or uh, doing analysis on econ uh, economic and financial data. So people who are um, going to work on consumer behavior, consumer behavior, um, economic forecasting, macroeconomic forecasting, or maybe a financial modeling uh, will need to be really uh, reasonably good in econometrics. So it could be, you know, linear regression, polynomial regression, and then, uh, you know, using instrumental variable uh, in regression techniques, handling heteroscedasticity, problems with linear regressions, 
uh, overcoming autocorrelation using autocorrelation in uh, in, in regression modeling and then you know time series forecasting panel data analysis uh, and, and the list goes on so one should be familiar with all these techniques apart from having uh, a good uh, command over applied maths one should be uh, really good at programming as well so this uh, profession demands a very good skill over uh, a lot of these programming languages, the popular ones are SAS, R, MATLAB, and SPSS, which are uh, statistical uh, programming softwares, which is all suited uh, suited for um, you know non-statistical works like optimizations um, and and machine learning. Some of the um, areas of data science will of course need big data tools like like Hadoop. Okay. Um, but not all data science jobs will demand um, you know big data tools um, one should have uh, a proper um, understanding of data handling and and one should be very comfortable with uh, sql in particular nowadays no sql is also gaining popularity because of um, you know the volume of the data uh, one should also be comfortable with uh, scripting languages or more um you know uh, programmatically involved languages like python java c++ c um and so on so if somebody is familiar like python has data science library as well uh, i'm sure even java and c++ has got uh, numerical computation uh, library so if you have uh, you know good command over these languages it's always an add on in fact a lot of this uh, you know a lot of this jobs demand uh you know a very strong programming skills because uh, you will find jobs like data science developer jobs and then data science data scientist jobs so data science developer just will 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 demand uh, a better programming skills than the data scientist jobs which of course uh, needs uh, a lot of programming uh, ability but at the same time, there are people from uh, IT development who are going to help them out in implementing some of the algorithms. So, um, so, so somebody with good programming skill will, and with, of course, the algorithms uh, knowledge, will have uh, better opportunities and uh, you know more options. So at the uh, same time, one should also have a very good understanding of how to write code, not just writing code, but how to write a good code or a very efficient code so code optimization is very important handling time and space complexity or having a good understanding of that while writing code is very important um, software development uh, is very important because data science algorithms uh, involves a lot of IT implementations um, so having uh, command over a software development lifecycle is very important so fundamentals should be very clear Data modeling uh, is very important, and uh, and you know um, exposure to um, IT development cycles like Agile uh, or the waterfall uh, IT development cycles, Scrum best practices uh, on IT uh, development um, and documentation, of course, is is very handy. And you got to expect uh, a few questions if you are applying for data science jobs. Domain and product uh, knowledge, you know, it's very important and uh, this uh, goes without saying that if uh, somebody has to uh, be successful in this field, one has to have a very good, um, very good knowledge, if not, uh, if not at an expert level, but at, at least have a reasonable understanding of uh, the domain um, and the product um, that one one is working with. Uh, if you're working with banking, one should be very comfortable with the risk regulations, uh, the management reports used in banking, the product knowledge. Uh, if you're working with credit card, one should be knowing everything about credit card. Um, mortgage, if somebody is working with mortgage, one should be very comfortable with the mortgage. It also depends on the market we're dealing with. Okay, like if we're uh, if we're working on the mortgage market in US, that would be different from what you will see in Europe and what you will see in uh, a park okay if you work with manufacturing you have to be comfortable with inventory order management supply chain management and so on if you're working with telecom you should be comfortable with the 
telecom regula regulations, customers, uh, the type of customers that one one gets uh, in in telecom and their behavior, uh, different product types and so on. Um, the e-commerce is fairly new, uh, so um, it's important that uh, you should know the customer behavior, uh, the payment channels, um, and uh, the different um, you know best practices that has come up uh, in this particular um, particular area. So that's equally uh, Important and in fact, if you are uh, like, um, if you are, um, if if you are higher at an experience level, uh, domain and product questions matter a lot. If you are a fresher, you are a fresh man, fresh out of college, probably this area won't matter much. Or maybe you won't get, um, you won't expect questions on domain. If you are a fresher, soft skills. As is important in any other job is very important in data science as well. One of the reasons why this is very important uh, in any of these uh, quantitative uh, roles is because you have to deal with a, a different type of stakeholders. You will have to deal with um, uh, people who don't understand your algorithm and people who don't understand the program that you have written. Um, so you have to deal with highly technical uh, stakeholders as well as non-technical stakeholders. So handling that. So handling both is a difficult task and one should have a really good soft skill to be able to do that. So ability to uh, handle stakeholders is one important thing and variety of stakeholders. Being very proactive is important in any job and it's also important here. Being innovative. As a data scientist, you are supposed to come up with you know, uh, you know, innovative things. You are, you are supposed to write uh, technical papers, uh, you know, present technical uh, or highly innovative uh, ideas to the management. Uh, many times you won't be appreciated for your ideas because not all ideas will be, uh, you know, practical enough to implement. But one should have that patience and and should have that, uh, you know, curiosity to just keep on innovating and maybe some of it will will get uh, implemented and recognized. Problem solving skills very important is um, because you'll always be uh, dealing with problems uh, related to the business. So having a good problem solving skill, uh, having good problem solving skill is always uh, always good. Uh, communication skill is important in all all types of job nowadays, and it is very important. The reason is because you have to write, uh, you know, your technical stuff in a non-technical way when you are presenting to the senior management because they won't understand. Most of them won't understand uh, the you know the complicated maths that you are using so you have to express yourself in a non technical way uh, in a way that people understand you and that's um, require a very good communication skills presentation skills um so in many areas i know the business analysts actually go out and present so developer need not have to you know present themselves directly to the uh, business people but if you're working in a data science, uh, there there is no concept called business analyst in data science. You are a business analyst yourself. You are a developer, and you are the algorithm expert. So you have to do end to end, and that's one of the reasons why these people are being so highly paid. So you ha will have to develop a skill of presenting yourself or presenting your work to the senior management in a very uh, uh, sort of a fashionable way that impresses them or you know you should be able to highlight your work uh, not just to survive yourself but also to ensure that you get um, good appreciation and you survive uh, in the in in the organization you're working with this these skills are very important especially for working for consulting companies okay uh, in product company soft skills of course is a secondary skill but in consulting company these skills are you know, takes uh, precedence over, over your hard skills because, you know, because you're selling yourself. I hope this is useful. So please subscribe to our channel and also please contact us. If